G'day mates. Whenever I see a great big spike in new members joining Sleep HQ, it can only mean one thing. ResMed My Air app is down again. Can you believe it? It was about a month ago they had a major outage. Everyone was losing their minds, but it looks like it's happening again, unfortunately. Now, I had a look on Twitter, now rebranded X. Congratulations, Elon. And there's no update, but you can generally get a feel for the situation by reading the comments from the users in some of the other posts. They did drop a My Air post here on July 26, which is unfortunate timing because I think that's the day the issue started. Your My Air score indicates how well you slept the night before. The higher your score from zero to 100, the better. You can get the My Air mobile app on the App Store and Google Play. Now, if we go into some of the comments here, where's my data? Get your shit together. <laughs> Short and to the point, just like Uncle Nico, I like that. Two days in a row, my data isn't updating. When I unplugged and replugged my machine, it came in within minutes. There's the hot tip I give everyone. It doesn't always work, but try doing a power cycle. Turn your machine off at the wall, wait a minute, turn it back on, and that sometimes works like it did for this person. Would be nice if the app actually showed sleep data. Seems like we are once again having the issues we did a few weeks ago. Like I said, they had that major outage. And there's just heaps of comments here. Angry people wasting time trying to troubleshoot. What else we got? Anything else entertaining? Can we stop pretending you have any sort of competence in the area of apps when we are once again in this situation? Nothing more high tech than waiting days for data. There you go. Now, if you are a bit sick and tired of the ResMed My Air app being down or showing incorrect data, sometimes it only loads part of the data, and so it gives you numbers that are completely off. If you're over that and you just wanna wake up and see your data each day, here's a device, and it's a shameless plug, I don't care, that Adam and I developed. It took us about 18 months. It's called the Magic Uploader, and it adds Wi-Fi functionality to your AirSense 10, AirSense 11 machine, and it syncs all that data every 10 minutes or so, full detailed, high definition data, not just your summary data, every breath you take. It takes it, sends it up to the Sleep HQ cloud, so in the morning you can just open up your phone and see your data, it will always be there. It's unbelievable. We're up to version two now, and we've had a lot of trouble keeping up with demand, but we're at a point now where we are keeping up with demand. So if you wanna grab one, I'll put a link in the description below, and you'll never have to worry about this ever again. Now, this also has over-the-air updates. So whenever we develop new features and we wanna push out these to the uploaders, we can access them and update the firmware, which is really cool as well. Now, I have a feeling that this is what's causing all of ResMed's problems, the over-the-air updates for the AirSense 11. Now, for those of you that don't know what over-the-air updates are, it's basically how your phone works. Whenever there's a new software update available, you can download and install it onto your phone remotely. And it's the same thing with the AirSense 11. However, they don't give you an option to install. They just do it automatically. So if they want to update all the AirSense 11 devices, they've got a new feature, they want to fix a bug, whatever it is, they can just push out that update via the cell towers, boom, and then You've got a new update on your device. Ultimate power, that's what it is. And it's really good if you get it right, but not so good if you get it wrong. And I think they're probably having a few teething issues. And they might have introduced a new bug with the latest firmware update. I've had a bunch of people messaging me saying their device now just turns off in the middle of the night for no reason. And then it restarts again and starts blowing air. So. They might need to check that one out because that sounds a little dangerous. And it's obviously causing some issues with my air. But we're getting quite used to that now. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day. I'll keep you updated. Cheers. G'day, mates. This video was sponsored by Bob, Ethel, and SleepHQ.com. Upload, review, and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit SleepHQ.com and create a free account in seconds.